for the tournament, I prepared, well, I, uh, I had to do special preparations uh, for this tournament. I prepared a new opening system to play. Mm, it was Grunfeld Defense. And when, the, when I played um, Smyslov, I badly wanted to play. That's what I prepared. But it was not easy. He made the first move in 93. Well, about existence of such move. Well, uh, on the, the way, well, how to well, to start the game? Well, I, I had no idea. I'll just, uh, just it was it was a great novelty for me. Okay, I I wanted to come to the to to the Grunfeld position. What was absolutely well, well was absolutely impossible after the move knight f three. Okay. Frankly, uh, well, G6, it is well, my intention to play the Grunfeld position, but uh, D5 or Knight C6 or E6 mm, would be much, much stronger. Well, D7, D5, in order to prevent, uh, well, build up of a strong pawn center after, after E2, E4. So I played, I played D5, yeah. Uh, well, already here, white can, for example, take on d5, uh, knight takes d5, uh, knight, knight d4, b5, takes on c3, takes the queen on d8, takes knight takes c3. Well, the position is almost equal, but uh, white will castle long, whereas uh, Black King will be in the center, and uh, well, it, it is already a certain advantage for white. But, uh, uh, but Smithle played stronger, he, he played Bishop G5, well, threatening to take on the sixth to win the pawn. So, well, I took on C4. There was, there was a, a tournament book written after the tournament. Uh, the book was made by Taimanov and Flor, and there they criticized my move uh, taking on C4. They suggested, they su suggested knight E4 instead. Well, uh, perhaps it is a little bit better, but. But it is uh, well, still white has an edge after knight takes e4, mm, takes, and knight b5. And, uh, well, I, uh, I don't know. I, I think, uh, mm, well, after taking on d, d1, take, uh, then, then knight, knight c7 is a threatening. So white, white has a clear edge in, mm, so I believe I believe the move G7 G6 already does not promise mm, mm, just uh, equality to black. Yeah. So in the game I just took took here. Yeah, Black has problems to, to develop his queen side. Knight c6 will he, it will, he will take on c6 to, there are two weak pawns, a and c. So, well, uh, knight d7 doesn't look very attractive. So I played a6. Well, immediately after the game, uh, Smyslov criticized his this move and said uh, that that he is not in the best shape at this tournament it is the, the very first round by the way that he is not in the best shape and correct move is he would be queen e2 uh, well or maybe first a4 and then queen e2 that doesn't matter exactly uh, exactly the same. Well, I played this line. Uh, well, especially uh, I was successful in this game. I played this line several times, and four years later, the man whose name who was Simagin played Queen E2, 
against me and got well, quickly, absolutely one won game by playing E4 and E5 quickly. Yeah. So, so well, the move Queen B3 had been played. Queen B3 had been played. And, uh, well, mm, the man... Well, Smyslov, um, well, he, he understands chess, of course. Well, he, he very soon realized that the, the move was wrong. Yes, so... Huh. By the way, I'm taking, I'm taking the beer on G, G5. It's interesting, yeah. At this position, I played bishop e6. Well, I made all uh, all developing moves, and here suddenly I uh, I saw queen takes e6, pawn takes e6, b2, b4 to tap the queen. Uh, <laughs> this is the yeah. Later on, later on, uh, I have found. Uh, that uh, after knight b6, d5, pawn takes a5, knight takes c3, black has a good game due to the strong position of the knight c3. But then, well, well, the queen takes c6, well, that was, that was not in, not exactly in Smyslov style, but uh, I was a little bit worried, yeah. Here, in this position, I, uh, well, I was brave enough to order a draw to my uh, famous opponent. Well, he, he declined to offer. Well, you know, when somebody offers a draw and the other one, the, the, the other one declines. Well, this... Um, Unsuccessful negotiations or, um, on draw. It has a psychological impact on on the ja on the game. Let's say, well, uh, peace-loving pigeon. No, he is let down by uh, by his opponent. But on the other hand, well, perhaps he gets uh, another stimulus to play better. And, uh, well, this predatory hawk who wants to win the game, for, yeah, well, he takes obligations to, to go ahead. And this is in some positions, it must be, must be too, too strong an obligation. So also psychologically, he's, he's somehow, well, forced to, to do something. But uh, but the moment when I offered the draw was 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 correct. This is a very good move. Very good move. Um, yeah. By the way, by the way, in this position, the simplest way to to equalize is, I think, just well, something like. Bishop f3 and say rook c4 and then bishop takes f6 bishop takes f6 and knight d5 so knight takes d5 and say uh, knight takes d5 or bishop takes d5 rook c3 so the game is drawn yeah, so it is absolutely absolutely equal the position but don't forget, well, just, just a moment ago, he refused the draw, so, so he has some obligations. He must continue. So that was, uh, well, a bad mm, psychological impact uh, upon, upon my famous opponent. Okay, let's look how the game continued. 